Good afternoon, Colonel Country, and welcome to another episode of Colonel's Corner. On today's episode, we'll be previewing the Wilkes University Men's Soccer 2021 season. Our guest today is head coach Michael Perini, and coach, thanks for joining us. Now, coach, you're heading into the 2021 season after a fairly long layoff, not having seen actual gameplay since 2019. What can you tell us about your expectations this season? As you mentioned, not having a season, uh, the first expectation is to complete a season. Uh, really excited to have and look forward to uh, competing. So having, having this be a great experience for all the players is uh, my number one goal for this season. Now let's talk about the returners, obviously the juniors and seniors you have coming back. You've seen an actual gameplay, but the sophomores only got exhibition action last year in addition to the practices that you got. Uh, what can you tell us about your expectations for the players that are coming back this year? Uh, there, you know, I, I have high expectations for them. Uh, they're putting a lot of uh, respect and responsibility to them uh, as we have 13, uh, 13 seniors uh, that uh, are you know, one graduate student uh, amongst that crowd, but these guys have been around and they've been around our program long enough that they know uh, we want to be a consistently competitive program and that we have to drive harder, work daily to get to the spot where we want to be at and consistently raise that. So. Uh, yeah, the, the expectations for them are a little higher than our freshmen as our freshmen haven't had the same, uh, same time with me. Now let's talk about those first years that you have coming in this year. What are your expectations for them as they ease into their college careers? Uh, they're, uh, they're still a group that uh, number-wise we have 15 freshmen that are coming in, so a large group and a good group of them, uh, a handful that I expect uh, to have an immediate impact for our program. I, I have expectations that they'll be getting uh, quality minutes in every game. Now let's talk about the Mac Freedom. There's been a lot of changes to the conference over the last handful of years as we've gained Stevens, who we've already seen, and then Arcadia and Lycoming are switching over from the Mac Commonwealth over to the Mac Freedom, both very, very good programs. What can you tell us about your expectations for the Mac Freedom slate this year? Uh, it's, it's going to be competitive, right? Uh, it's uh, one we're all excited about. Uh, as the recent preseason polls came out, uh, we're not very – very high up in the rankings, and it's one of those that's a motivator for us, as it probably is for other programs. But uh, we want to be a consistently competitive program, and being competing in the conference championship is definitely a goal of ours. Uh, I think that adding Lycoming and Arcadia are two very respectable programs that we're going to have a tough time uh, battling with, but we're very excited about it. Now let's talk about the rest of your schedule. What are some highlights you can talk about with your non-conference? Yeah, the non-conference, uh, we open up with Penn State Burks, and uh, it will be away. Uh, we, we look forward to competing. That's always a, a very difficult game for us. And then we move on, and we'll play uh, a, a Centennial Conference School, McDaniel, at their place. And we have a few uh, – we've added two landmark schools. So the landmark for us is a, a, is a conference that's relatively close with a lot of schools, but a very competitive program. So looking forward to competing against all of them. Now let's talk about the last season, and season about a half, um, that we've dealt with COVID. Uh, there's been a lot of negatives that we've heard about um, that come from, you know, not being able to be around people, what we had to go through, especially you, a fall sport, you didn't get a full season. Uh, what are, can you tell us about some of the positives you've seen through this whole ordeal? Uh, first and foremost, uh, you know, obviously we lost a season, and it was uh, disappointing and disheartening, but... Uh, very fortunate and very thankful f for the opportunity that we had to play. You know, we had to, we were able to train and talking with my peers, the fellow coaches. There were some programs that didn't get that opportunity. So, again, it goes into we're appreciative, uh, uh, gracious for the opportunity from our administration that allowed us to practice and play uh, and play play some competitive games in the spring. But uh, in in terms of what was different, the training, uh, our training was uh, a little bit more non-traditional. We had a little bit more team time, team building. Uh, and then it was also a lot more distant, so smaller, smaller in, in individual sessions. Uh, but it was all in all, it was it was a great experience, and uh, we learned a lot. Uh, it was one that we hopefully don't have to experience again, and that we can move forward and say, you know, that we've learned a lot, and we we think that we can grow from it. Wilkes University men's soccer kicks off the 2021 season September 1st when they travel to Penn State Berks for a 7 p.m. matchup and open up their home season in the friendly confines of Bruggerworth Field September 7th, the 7 p.m. matchup against Juniata. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good luck this season. Thanks a lot, Adam.